What is up, guys? It is Giorgio Vitovic here, also known as Fat D Productions. Fat D. Um, I do not prefer P Hat or Faded Productions or Faded. I don't know where that came from. But, anyways, tutorial today. You guys requested it um, on that video that I posted up, my intro, the new one that I made. Uh, you guys got 100 likes on it. And uh, you know what? Thank you very much for that. I appreciate it and uh, just sticking to my promises and making you guys what you requested um, on that note if you guys get me 250 likes 250 I will be doing the Valentine's Day cinematics tutorial on how to do Modern Warfare 2 zero gravity objects um, 250 likes if not then if I don't reach that number whatever it's cool um, I'm always willing to post up montages like I usually do, and, uh, yeah, nothing will change drastically, but, fuck it, whatever, let's start, what do we have here today, we have a bunch of images I made in Photoshop, you need Photoshop, After Effects, and Sony Vegas 9, today I'm showing you just the After Effects portion, this is where the motion of the graphics happen. So basically in Photoshop I made myself some weird face, I made an outline, and I made a background bracket blue object thing. I don't even know. Okay, anyways, drag that shit in over here in your project where your library is. We're going to go composition. You would hit new. Um, I'm already in a composition, so I'm just going to go to the settings and show you the settings I used. Um, 1280 by 720. I recommend 1080p, which is 920 by 1080. Um, always gotta have the magic 178 16 by 9 ratio. Uh, 30 frames a second. You really don't need 60. I mean, that's not like it's a video game. It's just an intro. Um, five seconds is all right. You guys can choose whatever. Um, resolution you guys would want to hit full I'm doing third for the sake of fraps to keep up because I'm on my laptop right now instead of my uh, render rig and you tell me a core 2 duo versus an Intel i7 yeah um, the core 2 duo sucks dick okay here we go let's start I'm just stalling here um first things first we need a background, so we're going to hit Control y It's going to bring up a solid. Um, I'm picking white, so let's go with that. Um, drag in your background layer. Put it on top of the white background, white and blue. Now we're going to need the other objects. So drag in the outline of your uh, centerpiece. I'm going to call it the centerpiece for today. Um, dragging the center piece, the main part, and um, we're gonna go to layer. <coughs> wow, I'm really sick today. Camera, um, whatever setting is there, that's fine, it really doesn't matter. Um, we're gonna hit control D while the camera one is selected, so it duplicates it. We're gonna put 3D, we wanna put like the little cube things on all the images, background layer is not necessary. <clears throat> Alright, now we take our camera 2, we're going to hit camera 2 on the, um, hit, hit, yeah, over here on this little tab, basically this tells you which portion or which direction you want to view your uh, composition at. So let's start, we're going to hit this little camera tool and just drag it to the sides, that way you can see where your image, uh, uh, images are in 3D space. <sighs> fucking mouthful of words today. Anywho, um, let's get this going. So we're gonna go back to camera one. I'm gonna hide our face. Um, we're gonna hit duplicate twice. So control D, control D, and we're gonna have three things over here. Um, for the first one, let's actually we're gonna highlight all three of the uh, outlines. We're going to hit S, and we're going to go over to the scale, and we're going to hit the little clock. It's going to select everything for us. Uh, burp. 
and we're going to shrink it down zero zero percent over here that way it doesn't even show up so we're going to go two seconds in no actually a minute um, or a second and a half a minute it's not even a minute long all right we're going to go to 110 percent that way it looks like it flies at the camera and then it sits down and then we're going to go at two seconds and we're going to go at a hundred percent so that way you get the uh, pop effect and then we're going to start doing each one individually so we're going to click off to any object other than what was selected <coughs> alright now what else we're going to click on the first image really doesn't matter where you start as long as you start somewhere so we're going to hit R on one of the outlines which is going to bring up our orientation so for the first one I'll guess I'll do the uh, X axis and I'm going to start I'm going to start at 0 I'm going to go to 2 seconds in I'm going to drag that keyframe make sure you, everything that's at zero ends at two seconds and then everything back here at zero seconds you make a random number for that way it looks like it just rolls on out and then we're gonna go to the next one we're gonna hit R I guess let's try the uh, Y rotation and again put that over by two seconds and so on so forth random spin let's see what that looks like looks something like my intro basically yeah that's the same concept I'll leave that one just by itself that way there's an actual outline and then we're gonna have we're just gonna close these tabs down alright so we have this thing the face the centerpiece whatever you want to call it and you can see that it's uh, kind of protruding through, but that's alright since we need our face to spawn in, per se, as soon as it's hit its peak point on the outer edge. So we're gonna... Actually, let's do a little before that. So we're gonna hit scale on our centerpiece, not the outline. So we're gonna hit S. We're gonna hit that little clock. We're gonna go to the beginning and we're gonna go over here to the percentage and hit zero and hit enter and then there should be another keyframe due to the fact that you move the timeline a little bit the timeline head player back so there should be a keyframe that shows a hundred percent you want to move that over by two seconds and a half or two dash fifteen uh, for fifteen frames in and at two seconds I'm gonna make my guy be at a hundred ten percent that way it looks like he pops out and then he sits down on the outer layer so yeah basically this is the process that I did throughout the uh, whole intro um yeah make sure you comment rate subscribe and um, tell me if you guys want more tutorials more montages just uh Give me your opinion. I'm always there. I'm always listening. I'm not a rapist, but yeah, I'm always listening. And uh, yeah, make sure you guys uh, do your thing. Uh, my name is Fat D, and I'm out of here. That was the uh, basics on my intro. See you guys later.